what is going on guys today we're going to be going through the six days of my Goku workout program so um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button you know what let's start day one with this man let's get this started so we're gonna start with the chest make sure to download the workout program if you don't already know what it's about and we can go from there let's get this party started y'all okay you have the option to choose between the flat bench press and the dumbbell bench press which can both be done at the gym or at home depending on which equipment you have access to at the moment you want to make sure you're getting the full range of motion and you're getting the form correctly as you can see in the video the goal for each week is to increase the end weight load by five pounds to 25 pounds every week for a span of four weeks stay at the same weight load every new week for any exercises you're not able to finish a complete set for when you're able to then move on okay for the second one close grip bench press and dumbbell close grip bench press so this focuses on the triceps so you want to make sure that you're choosing one depending on which one you have access to and you're also focusing on your form you want to make sure you're getting the full range of motion and you're keeping your grips close okay now on to some isolation movements right here I've got dumbbell flies or cable flies so as always you can pick whichever one you want depending on whatever uh, you have access to or whichever one you prefer you want to make sure you're getting the full range of motion, bringing it all the way to the top and squeezing at the top. You want to control your breathing if you can uh, and um, basically follow as you see on the screen and do, you know, as I do basically. So the next one here is a tricep workout. This is a tricep extension machine as well as you could do it with a dumbbell as tricep leaning extension. So choose whichever one you want. Make sure you're getting that full extension right there and getting those tricep heads worked next one right here is one is the first super supersets you're going to be doing so this superset is basically a chest and tricep superset so you want to do the first workout which is you know whichever one you decide to choose the dumbbell alternative or the main workout with the machine or and then move on to the next workout which is right after so no breaks in between you just get to the next workout as you can see right here rope tricep pull downs or dumbbell tricep kickback so depending on what you have access to like i said this workout program you know serves everyone so if you have access to dumbbells you can do it as a dumbbell workout and if you have access to a gym you can go ahead and knock yourself out so for the final one for the day this is more like a burnout workout so you want to make sure you're getting those full range of motions like i said look at me with that extension so you want to pull all the way down and make sure you choose between uh the dumbbell alternative and the gym alternative so choose whichever one you feel you out you can do or have access you know to equipments for and get to it that's basically it for the first day we're going to move on to the second day so welcome to day two here's the workout we're going to start with deadlifts and we're going to go from there let's get it okay for day two we're going to start with the king of lifts the deadlift so you can do this with the dumbbells as dumbbell deadlifts or barbell deadlifts this activates every muscle group in the body but make sure you're doing it with proper form as you can see right here i'm doing it with 45 pounds you can do this with whatever weights you want but make sure to start low and then increase the weight as i've said for the four week span so you start let's say you start at 45 pounds the next week you want to go you know for example 55 pounds but you stay at this weight for the first week go up by five 225 pounds depending on your strength level and how you feel you know you can even start at 25 pounds here but make sure you get that form right okay on to the next workout right here we've got barbell front shrugs or you can choose the dumbbell front shrugs whichever one you have access to as always and you basically you know pull it up and get that proper form full range of motion you know how many times I stress that that's the most important thing with this program is you want to make sure you get that full squeeze as you can see right there and hold it up for one second if you can so hold it up for a second count in your head and focus on the squeeze and then move on to the next one so you can do this with whatever weight as well next we've got some barbell rows so we've got supinated barbell rows which basically just means you know a reverse grip barbell row so you can do this with a dumbbell as well or with a set of dumbbells and make sure you just use whatever you have access to and you're getting that full range of motion, getting those full kicks and controlling yourself, controlling your motion. You don't wanna be swinging the bar too hard. You wanna control your motion and make sure you're getting it in right. You're working those lats. Okay, next we've got some isolation workouts for our traps. 
you want to do the cable side raises or the dumbbell side raises as i said earlier it depends on what you have access to dumbbells are very versatile so i'd expect most people would have those if you don't have access to a gym so basically you get those full range of motions and you get uh, proper form you focus on that uh, if you need to learn more about proper form let me know down in the comment section about if you don't understand something about the form let me know down in the comment section but basically follow you know the form that I'm showing right now because this is basically how I do it and then make sure you're increasing your weight load by between 5 to 25 pounds weekly depending on what workout it is some workouts will not be the same not all workouts are created the same so handle them differently okay so we're at the superset for the day and we're gonna be doing or choosing between the dumbbell lean in side rows and the close grip lat pull down so you do whichever one you have access to its equipment basically and then you go over to the you know the next workout which is basically uh, as a part of the superset so side shrugs so you want to do this with dumbbells there's no alternative to this so at the gym at home doesn't matter where you do this this one can only be done with dumbbells make sure like I said to always watch your form and make sure you're completing the full range of motion so that's very important you know with this workout program or any workout program for that matter um, next and the final workout for uh, day two is basically dumbbell single arm side rows or cable lat crunches so so for single arm workouts you basically want to make sure that you're doing you know the uh, suggested amount of reps per side so per arm per leg per whatever it is you're gonna see a few or a, quite a quite a few um, single arm or single leg workouts in this uh, workout program so make sure to watch out for those as always make sure you're controlling your form and you're squeezing so you want to make sure you're pulling with your lats so your latissimus dorsi your lats those big you know little wings that you have uh, on your back is what you want to use to do these little lat crunches your arms are only acting as hooks Don't really don't you know squeeze your biceps and flex them when you're doing this you try to just lift with your lats Welcome to day three leg day over here. We're gonna start the day with some squats and then we're gonna go from there Let's get this party started y'all Okay for number one you already know we have to start with the clean squat so you want to make sure you're getting good and great form with this great form full range of motion very important you can do dumbbell squats and you can do it with a barbell at the gym so whichever one you have access to but you see how low i get those are clean squats you want to make sure you get as low as you can so you want to control your movements your breathing all that stuff you want to control you got to get those squats in nicely to be honest with you that's the only way and then you progress weekly between 5 to 25 pounds of your previous max weight the week before that's how we do it so here we've got number two front lunges you can do these with dumbbells as you can see on the screen as well so whichever one you have access to just make sure you're getting that full range of motion you know you're making sure you're getting that 90 degree angle with your lunges so you want to get that 90 degree you know full lunge so you want to get that so stay at the low weights until you can handle you know more weight so basically this is a four week program every week you get to add five uh, between five to 25 pounds so depending on what your strength level is and how you feel you can progress so make sure you're starting low don't start too high don't start high and you know trip or you know hurt yourself you don't want none of that so make sure you're completing the full range of motion again and on to number three so this one basically focuses on your calves the smith machine calf races so you can do this as well with just dumbbells just make sure you place uh, a plate in front of you and you keep your toes together try to get that one second squeeze at the top of every lift so you basically see how i hold it up there for a quick second that's exactly what you're trying to do so this is a very balanced intensive workout so you got to focus on your you know your, your balance you got to focus on trying to keep your toes on that little plate in front of them so that's basically it just don't forget to you know go up in weight as you get better at these and complete full three sets of these uh, on to the next workout right here we've got some single leg press so machine single leg press or dumbbell reverse lunges 
There's different kinds of leg press machines. There's some that come, you know, there's different ones that you can use uh, the regular one that I've got right here. If you don't have this, use the regular uh, leg press that's most common amongst a lot of different gyms. I've seen a lot of, you know, uh, leg press machines, different styles and whatnot. Just look for whichever one you can and do some single leg press on them or just do them with a dumbbell and do some reverse lunges. Make sure you're getting that full range of motion and controlling your movements. You can see right here, slow and steady wins the race. Uh, you can't rush this, man. You got to get those full extensions. You got to get those full range of motions and keep that form tight. Um, that's it for that one workout right there. We're going to move on to the superset of the day. So right here, we've got one of my favorite um, calf workouts. It's called seated calf raises in, in and out or dumbbell seated uh, calf raises in and out. You get to choose whichever one uh, is most suitable for you. But you can see right here, you basically do about eight reps with your toes inwards and then you do right after with no break, you switch it and you do, with, do it with your toes outwards. As you can see right there with the dumbbell and with the seated calf races machine. You're gonna wanna hold the weight up there for about one second. Doesn't matter which um, workout you do decide to do, you're gonna wanna hold it up there for about a second every time. For any time you're doing a calf race, or any hold, you know, raise or any kind of, you know, workout like that. And finally, for our burnout workout of the day, we're gonna be doing some machine leg extensions or some dumbbell split squats. So I know most of you guys that are that have access to a gym will all have one of these, you know, at your gym. If you don't, then just grab a dumbbell and get to those split squats right away. Welcome to day four. Today we're gonna to be focusing on chest, but more of the upper chest and your delts. You know what, let's get started, man. Day four should have been rest day, now this is day five. Day four for the program, but day five for you, because you should take a rest day. So the, for the first workout, dumbbell incline bench press or incline bench press. Okay, so for this one, you can do it at a Smith machine station or at a barbell rack station, basically where you would do a regular bench press. So it depends on your you know strength level and what you think is safer for you. Honestly, I would do this uh, without the Smith machine, but if you wanted to, you know, learn the motion, then do it with the Smith, Smith machine, you know, get used to it. But that's the first one, incline. Okay, next in line is the military press. So you can do this uh, with dumbbells as just standing shoulder presses, or you can do it with the barbell at the gym, depending on which, whichever one's more, you know, accessible to you at present. Uh, you also want to make sure you're completing the motion and bringing it all the way down, as you can see, I, I do in the video I bring it all the way beneath my chin uh, that's where you want to kind of get it and then you know what let's move to the next workout of the day so for this workout this is basically a decline uh, bench press and a dumbbell decline bench press so you get to choose whichever one you want as always uh, you want to make sure you're doing this at either a Smith station like I'm doing in the video or doing it you know at a regular barbell station where you would do a regular bench press and as always you want to increase the weight by between 5 to 25 pounds every week so if you beat this level which is what I like to call it then you have to add a 25 pound plate the next time or a 5 pound plate or a 10 pound plate the next week that you do it so basically every time you do it and complete three full sets then you move up with the weight so next we've got cable reverse flies here or dumbbell reverse flies uh, this one is awesome for isolating those delts you know the, the, those muscles the look at those little delts right there you basically want to isolate those muscles if you want to train them because they don't get trained a lot so make sure you're getting that full squeeze full extension as you can see I do in the video you can do it with dumbbells as well as you can also see in there so whichever one you have access to next workout right here is basically a superset so the superset for the day we've got some machine chest press or some dumbbell chest press to start the superset so whichever one you have access to you can even mix up these you know supersets you can basically have one with the dumbbell and one with the machine so it doesn't really matter how you do it they're basically similar workouts just you know an alternative for you guys so you move up to the next workout with okay so we've got the machine shoulder press as a second part of the superset or the dumbbell push press so whichever one you want to do or have access to equipment for okay for our final burnout workout of the day we're gonna be doing some cable high flies or some dumbbell incline flies whichever one works for you so you want to get that full squeeze and that full extension as you can see so extend those cables and you know bring them all the way in 
get that squeeze and you know burn out those packs Here we are, day five. Uh, we're focused on the back and the biceps. This is one of my favorite days. You know what, let's get this party started, y'all. Okay, so here we are, day five. We're almost at the finish line. In this one, we're gonna start with one of my favorite workouts for building massive lats. So barbell back row. So make sure you get the form right and you complete the full range of motion on this one. It's very important, it's key. And make sure you're increasing the weight weekly. You gotta go up on this one. Next workout is basically a bicep workout. So we're gonna be doing a regular easy bar, bicep curls, pronated grip. So basically it's the oppos opposite of supinated grip. So you have to hold it the regular way. Or you can do the dumbbell double bicep curl. So whichever one you know you prefer to do, but make sure you're going up in weight weekly as well. Next one you wanna do right now is the T bar rows. Get that squeeze and build that thickness at the top of the back. You know, you wanna build the size, you wanna build all that strength right there. You gotta get all the full range of motion in. You gotta get all, you know, the form right. You gotta do it right, man. You gotta get that squeeze in and that full extension when you bring it down. Don't rush the workout, man. Savor it, enjoy it. Okay, for the next one, right here I've got some rope bicep curls or some double dumbbell hammer curls. So whichever one you decide to pick, make sure you're getting the full squeeze in and you're working those forearms and those wrists. Because this one doesn't just target your biceps, it also targets your wrists. So you wanna make sure that you're getting that full squeeze in and you're keeping those wrists, you know, basically in and those elbows tucked in. Onto the supersets. So basically we've got some lat pull downs here. So these are awesome for building, you know, size and defining those lats. So doing them or doing the dumbbell side rows as an alternative is what you wanna do for your next workout. So this is a superset right here. Okay, also for supersets, you wanna make sure that you're keeping the weight loads at respectable levels. So for each one, you don't have to have the same weight load. You know, each exercise done in the superset do not have to have the same weight loads. So you can have a lower one and then a higher one. So just make sure you're increase them, increasing them together every week. Okay, so the second exercise in the superset is a choice between cable double reverse bicep curls or dumbbell double reverse bicep curls. So make your pick and you know, complete the motion accurately and let's move on to the next one. Okay, so for the burnout of the day, it's going to be a choice between cable single arm rows and dumbbell single arm rows. So make your choice and get right to it. So basically you wanna get that squeeze in because this is an isolation workout and this aids in, in you know getting those, those nice cuts and those nice striations out. So you wanna make sure you're getting the full range of motion as you can see in the video right here. I'm going as, you know, and then switch arms basically and do the same for the opposite arm or the opposite side, doesn't matter. Every single arm or single side workout is basically like that. So once you get that done, you're basically done for day five and we're gonna move on to day six, the final day or day seven if you're counting your off slash rest day as you know part of this entire program. I usually don't count them as part of the six day routine. We're at the final day, day six. So I hope you guys have taken your first three days and the day in between and now the final day. So today we're gonna be focusing on the glutes, the hamstrings, and just the entire legs again. But you know, we're gonna be starting the sooner squats. Let's get this party started. Let's end this, man. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Day six, the final day of the week. Basically, you wanna start with a choice between the dumbbell sumo deadlifts or the regular barbell sumo deadlifts. And for this one, you wanna make sure the form is accurate as you can see in the video. Make sure it is not, you know, like the regular deadlifts. You don't wanna go all the way that down when you're squatting, when you're getting down there. You wanna make sure that you're just, you know, keeping those uh, hamstrings stretched. You wanna keep them stretched, you wanna work them out. Whichever one of these workouts you choose, make sure you're increasing or upping the weight weekly. This one, you cannot stay at the same weight for too long until you get to the heavier weights. Okay, next one right here, we've got the Romanian deadlift. So you can do this with dumbbells as you can see right there, or you can do it, do it with barbells as you can see right here. So this one is more of a stretching of the hamstrings as you can see. You make sure those knees don't bend on you, you make sure you keep them pretty much straight as best as you can, hold them in place, keep that back straight, and you know, keep your head up. 
that's how you get that, you know, hamstring and glute work. So you gotta squeeze at the top of your lift too. So you squeeze, you grab the, pick up the dumbbell or the barbell and squeeze at the top of your lift. And you make sure that you get in the full range of motion as well as the proper form. So onto the next workout. So right here, we've got some hip thrusts. Make sure you're being explosive when you thrust upwards and you know control your movements when you bring it downwards and you want to push that weight or that barbell you know keep it up on your hips when you're doing the thrusts you don't want it on your stomach your abdomen anywhere anywhere else you basically want to keep it you know on your hip while you're thrusting so that way you keep the tension on your hamstrings as you can see me doing with the dumbbells and the barbells keep thrusting until you're done the set so on to the next workout right here so we're going to do some closed squats grab a little plate you know keep those legs together and squat the dumbbell or the barbell whichever one's your choice or whichever one you have access to and get that full range of motion as you can see right there uh, maybe get some knee pads as you go up in weight as you increase the weight you want to get some knee pads as well because those really help if you're having any you know issues with your knees or lifting heavier then you know try some knee pads Keep the weight low on this one until you know you kind of get a hang of it. On to the next workout. We've got a superset right here. So we've got basically the adductor and the abductor machine workout. So this works the inner and the outer thighs. So you want to work those as well. So I'm doing also the dumbbell sumo squats with my toes in and then my toes out. So you, it's a superset. So you do one workout and then you do the next. As you can see right there. Remember, there's no breaks between, you know, sets during a superset. So it's the workout and then the next workout right after. At the end of your supersets, you're supposed to be feeling a little bit more worked out than, you know, when you do the workout by itself or as individual, you know, sets by themselves. So you wanna make sure that you get the full range of motion like always, you know, proper form. As you can see, you get low right there if you're doing it with a dumbbell and you and squeeze you or you full ex squeezes ex and extend full extensions with the machine or the doctor and the abductor machine. Okay, onto the final workout of the day. We've got the machine slash the line hamstring curls or the dumbbell line hamstring curl. So whichever one you have access to, there's different versions of the hamstring curl machines. If you have the line one at your gym, you can use that as well. Or if you have this seated one, you can use this. Or you could just use a dumbbell and get, you know, lay on the floor and just, you know, do it manually. So basically get the full range of motion, control it. That's the end of the seven day split, six days on, one day off. You only get one day for rest slash active recovery. You can do this workout program for four weeks straight and then repeat. So you can repeat this monthly, but it's advisable to try out new programs and all that stuff. If you haven't already downloaded the written program, which also comes with a shredding meal guide and a bulking meal guide, make sure to grab those in the description below. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, uh, you can check me out at, at tmm.midas or at fitbymidas. And you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel because you already know how it is, man. And I really hope you enjoyed my Goku four week lean bulk program. That's not the end of it, man. I have big plans in the works. So make sure you're already following me on social media or any of my um, other um, social media platforms or so Instagram, anything else. It doesn't matter. I have a bunch of uh, social media platforms which you can get to through the description. So that's all I've got for you guys in this one. It's Midas and I am out. <laughs>